Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, let's go ahead and take a shot at this rat. There we go, level 8. And as always, uh, a reminder, our attribute points, when our highest score cannot be more than 3 points away from the lowest. So that's why only strength and charisma are available right now. And we're going to go with strength. And okay, so we are hungry. We're going to have to eat. Uh, we're probably just going to have to eat again. Um, it looks like we're out of water from our flask. We could try eating mushrooms in between these two doors, and there'd be a decent chance of us getting uh, some hydration from that. But I, I'm not sure it's absolutely necessary right now. Uh, I just want to see kind of how big this area is. Sticks, I'm going to pass on those. Oh, I did not see them. All right, let's use our ability. Please don't poison me. Okay, my worn leather armor is broken. All right, we got them. Now we can't rest because we're not satiated over here. I didn't mean to bash that. All right, we do have a talent point, but I was hoping to use actually that right there. So we have steady shot. I think we want to go with aimed shot next. And so aimed shot will be number two, and that's a ranged attack that causes D3 extra damage instead of one for each point of agility bonus modifier. All right, so that is good. Uh, I'm going to switch our arrows out here, make sure we got that taken care of. Oh, more arrows. More snakes, too, apparently. Where are they? Well, right in my face. That's not good. Let's try the aimed shot. We missed, so let's try the first one where we reroll. There we go. Now, we are lucking out here. And I continue to be amazed. Now we're thirsty. I continue to be amazed at the size of the map here. But I keep feeling like we're almost done exploring it. And then there's more. There we go. Alright, so we are sitting on a decent amount of gold right now. Um, pretty much going to have to identify everything, right? I don't have anything else we can sell that's like bolts or anything. Okay. So let's identify this wand. Channeling. And let's see how much that's worth. 32. That's very nice. Let's identify this tome. Don't let turn undead. I can't, my character can't read, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see what we can get for these. 40 and 40. That is amazing what that is. Okay, we're going to be able to buy food and water, and it's going to be, we'll be all right. All right, let's identify the ring. Fortitude grants immunity against sleep and fear effects. That's awesome. Uh, we'll identify the padded gloves, not cursed. Oops, I put them in the wrong slot. Identify the leather boots, not cursed. Spalders, not cursed. Good. All right, scroll of distraction. Scroll of levitation. And so hopefully those will be worth a decent amount. Fire resistance, same thing there. Well, we'll just take one of them. And I think now we can let's see, we get six for that. Uh, they don't have free space for that at the moment. Oh, man. Which means they don't have space for that either. All right, that's fine. I'm going to get rid of the spear. Probably won't have space for this, but we'll try it. Okay, cool. We got 40 for that. And, oh, I didn't identify the onion, did I? So that's not poisoned or anything like that. Okay, so I need to buy food and water, and that's going to cost me, what, 160 total? Yeah. That leaves us with 75, which means we do have enough to enchant, and I want to enchant my bow. 
Charm, drain energy, or con oh, confuse is what we're looking for. That is awesome. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go back to the dungeon. Whoops. <laughs> hey, that worked out. I have to remember my way around these places. Come on, snail. I'll try and jump over them. It won't let me? Oh, come on. All right. Deal with it the only way we know how to. Okay, so it's interesting to note, I did clear this floor already, but this isn't revealed here. So I think I've been wrong about having to reveal every little piece of the map like that. Interesting. That's good, because that was kind of annoying. Alright, where am I going? Down here? Yes. Alright. Uh, we're going to use... We're gonna try this aimed shot again, this one. I said did a little extra damage, eight. Now we'll just do the one where we re-roll if we miss or two hit. That does four. Six. Okay. Gold, thank you. What do we we have two arrows equipped? I'm gonna fix that. Alright. It's just I just remembered that we need to eat and drink. I totally forgot about that. Aim shot, so we got the oh that's not good. That was close. Alright, so we have to eat and eat again, and we have to drink and drink again, but now we can rest. Alright. Branch, we're good on that. I love that we have a chance to confuse. That is awesome. Don't want to pick up those spalders. I've already got the spalder situation figured out. Not going to pick up shield. It's a wand. Okay. I used one of my ability charges to push that rock. Didn't even intend to. Well, that is a tiny floor. Do I even want to go back to town? I don't even think I do. I mean, all we'd identify is the ring and the wand. The ring could be useful, but I'm just gonna... I don't want to spend the extra turns walking back and everything and having to deal with that with food and drink. Make sure this isn't like a dead end. Let's see, gloves. Uh, we have these padded gloves on. Can't see them on the avatar, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna pass those up. Secret door. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe, first of all, that we were doing like four damage for each of those times we hit. Uh, instead of six. And that he survived all of that? Man, that was, that was unexpected. That was unexpected. And that, it seems we never once procced the uh, confusion chance. Which is disappointing as well. Oh well. Alright. Moving right along. Let's go again. Hmm. This is not the best start. Unless this guy's cool. Boulders can be... This tip of the day. Boulders can be pushed over entrances to clear a dungeon. What? That's interesting. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, he's coming towards us, isn't he? Oh, he's going towards the snail. Maybe he doesn't care about us. 
Or maybe he does, but there is a snail over here. Okay, he does want some, I guess. Okay, I can't I actually can't believe we killed him right there. That's why I was saying it's not a good start. Uh but that works, cool. That's worn, I don't want it. Mace. Or J might be worth a little something something. Uh okay, let's rest. See what else is down here. Other helm. Sword, flail, very nice. More arrows, we can find a bow. It's gonna be set. Alright, let's see. Padded armor, cool. Come on, let's find a bow somehow. Or not. That's okay. So the issue right now is I don't even have enough gold to identify anything. I'd have to sell some arrows. But I don't want to sell the arrows. It's kind of the issue there. So I think... I think we're just going to go to the next floor. Wait, I didn't see that. Take that wand. Something's going on in here. Well, this doesn't look good. Well, okay, we reached level 3, we have a talent point, we got a bunch of spiders in our face. We got them. Is that water? Yeah, it is water. Oh, someone's getting killed down there. Oh, more arrows, and more spiders. Your dagger slips from your hand and falls to the ground. Got to be kidding me right now. Uh, we're going to take a chance and just hope that this sword is not cursed. This place is crazy. I think he can move and attack. Maybe not. Yeah, I know yeah, the bat can. Alright, we've got a talent point. So if we find ooh, if we find a training tile, a trainer tile, that would be sweet. Alright, we got the gold situation figured out. Like 75 gold or whatever. You admire the gate. Oh, did I close oh, I closed it. That dog seems cool. Ooh, fine arrows. We don't have room for them, and we don't have a bow, <laughs> so that's problematic. Get rid of that, and that. Try to reorganize a little here. I need three. There we go. Like that just oh uh oh we have found ourselves a bow that's what I'm talking about let's hope it's not cursed because I'm gonna equip it oh I have to put it in my inventory first I always forget about this uh okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna throw that down and let's throw that down and so now I should be able to move this 
Equip that. Grab that. Equip the fine arrows. Those. Okay, cool. Alright, that was a good find right there. There's a crossbow. I've never used a crossbow, but that's damaged anyway. Oh, I did not mean to attack the dog. That was an accident. My bad. Well, now we have no choice. And the dog killed me. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. He was killed by a dog. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, this is the run right here. This is this is the one. This is a game changer. Guaranteed. And we had just found all of that stuff. And all because I didn't see the dog and I was moving too quickly. And just like I did with the snail. But actually we had no choice with the snail, so I take that back. Damaged branch. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, agility up. We got lucky there. That's worn. Ten gold is nice. Here. Like he killed a wolf. All right, so we have 18 gold. Means we can identify either that or this. Now here's the thing, I, I'm not gonna use the spear because it's a large melee weapon. I think it's only worth like 13 gold, maybe, which means we'll have a three gold profit, but let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, so now we can go ahead and handle the scroll. How much is that worth? 60. Now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Now, is there a bow for sale? Of course not. But there is... Oh, man, I can't afford it, though. A Blessed Axe of Malady that does D6 disease damage. Hmm. Okay. Some ribs... That's always a good find, if you ask me. talent point. Fried ribs. Now wait a minute. Oh, so they're already cooked up. Oh, but they could be poisoned, I guess. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. Dungeon fever. We're in a lot of trouble, unless I take my antidote, but if I take the antidote now, he gets another attack before I do. So the question is, do we attack and hope that he dies, then take the antidote? Or take the antidote and hope that he misses? We're going to attack. Alright. Oh, I'm th trying to throw it at myself. Just drink it. You are no longer affected by dungeon fever. Thank you. Now we got to eat and drink so we can rest. Those pills. You have cleared the dungeon. That works for me. Okay, so. Let's identify the studded van braces. They're good to go. Not cursed. Let's identify the fried ribs. They are rotten. That's great. Will they buy rotten ribs? For one gold? Yes, they will. Alright. Well, unfortunately... 
the things available here are not going to change unless we rest in the inn, which is also going to make the difficulty of the monsters in the dungeon increase. Uh, there's not much we can do right now. Uh, I mean, we could get... I would rather have a closed helmet anyway. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. We have to reset the dungeon. What am I, what am I thinking? Alright, we are definitely not going to take this quest because we are incredibly weak right now. We don't even have a bow or anything. So now that we've reset it, I don't think this changes. I think it's only when you rest at the end. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure. That, oh, that can't be good. I was, I was going to say, I wonder if that wizard is friendly. Is that possible? But we'll never know because... The wizard just died. And we can't rest because we still have enemies nearby. Which is unfortunate. There we go. Alright. See what you drop. Leather armor, cool. Amulet, some gold, and a damaged staff. Nope. A damaged dagger. Alright, this is where we're going to have to end this episode, unfortunately. But we will pick it up, of course, next time. Thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.